Hey there YouTube, welcome to Big Mike Beard Wisdom. So, we just got done doing the two headlight restoration kits. So the Sylvania on this side, the 3M on this side. And they came out pretty good. This was just the blue tape that I had for doing the comparisons when it was like against the garage door. As you can see, I was able to clean off the oxidation that was on these headlights, and they both came out really, really well. So the two kits are a little different. The Sylvania, you more or less sand by hand, and then you wind up putting on a almost like a hard clear coat onto it. The 3M kit, they give you a drill attachment and then some sanding discs to sand with, which theoretically would make it go quicker, but in this instance, it actually took the same amount of time as doing it by hand with the Sylvania kit. And then with the coating that I put on it, it's their, like, their quick fix clear coat, and I kind of get the impression it's a little bit more of a wax than it is an actual like hard clear coat so it's still fairly smooth but it almost has like a it just feels not quite like a hard residue whereas this one when I touch this one this one feels super smooth and very much like it's a solid residue and not coming off of my finger but this is the first view in the sun for both of them and you can see, they came out pretty good. So, there's a few runs in the Sylvania one. And, there's a few like runs in the 3M one as well. And both of them, I screwed up equally. <laughs> So both of them, it's like I put them on and then I was like, oh crap, and then hit them again. But you can see they both came out very good. They look excellent. And a lot of it is the time that you take when you do it. So when you go to do any of the kits, I highly recommend using as much of the sandpaper as you can and getting the headlights as clean as possible because it's only going to make the end result look even better. Now, both of them were fairly dirty. <laughs> so, this made a good bit of mess because you're able to use the drill. So that threw a lot of stuff all over the place. So, it's not really on the hood much because the hood was open, but it's under the hood in plenty of places. This was fairly cleaner. The biggest thing with this was that it made a lot of like sanding dust, mud. So essentially as you're sanding it down and wet sanding, it shaves off little pieces and the, the dust from it winds up landing on the front part of the car and dripping down. But this created way less dust than this did. So using the drill, this really kicked up a lot of dust. So all in all, this was a much dirtier process. And I was expecting this to be a much faster process, but it seemed almost like the light was fighting it. So the first step of this was to use a gold sanding disc and a dry sand. Well, dry sanding made for a whole bunch of dust as the drill kicked it off. And later on, you wind up using the compound, like the buffing compound, on a buffing wheel that you're using in your drill as well. And then that gets thrown around a good bit. So it's pretty interesting, the difference with the two. And honestly, were I to do it again, 
I would go with Sylvania. So the Sylvania one, even though it took longer, maybe by about 30 minutes, I think did a really good job. Now the sandpaper I don't 100% agree with, because it seemed like it took quite a good bit, but it's one of those things where this was hand sanded, that uses a drill, this you can do, anybody can do, this you require a drill, and the problem with requiring a drill is whether or not your drill's in good shape or your batteries are charged. Or, like if you're traveling to somebody's house to go do this for them or with them or something like that, maybe they don't have a good drill, maybe they got a crappy one. <laughs> but, we also did the fog lights, and they came out amazing on both sides. And then we definitely noticed a slight improvement out of both of them in light output and the crispness of the light output on the projector beams. Another difference is that the Sylvania pretty much comes all in one box as a complete kit. The 3M, I use this headlight restoration system plus then use the quick headlight clear coat. Now I did like this clear coat in theory better because you use two different coats. So if you screwed up the first one, it gave you a chance to try and focus and do the second one better. Whereas with the Sylvania one, you've got one shot to do the clear coat, no practice, and you better hope you do it right the first time. Then another big difference is that the Sylvania kit comes with this or instructions. It's not bad. It's enough information to get it done. It's fairly small. The 3M kit has almost a kite sized thing of instructions compared to the Sylvania one. Has pictures. Has good information in there. But still kind of makes you wonder in some spots. And then for both kits, I could have only done one headlight per kit and one fog light. So with the Sylvania, the issue was that it seemed like I ran out of good sandpaper and I also ran out of the clear coat, but I had plenty of the compound, the buffing compound left similar to the 3M kit but we ran out really early and actually had to go get more sandpaper to handle this headlight so it might have been the headlight it might have been the sandpaper stuff so the win I would say goes to Sylvania for the sandpaper the 3M kit I have more than enough buffing compound Plus, with that extra kit for the headlight restoration, the clear coat, I have an extra sanding disc that I can actually use on tail lights. So I can use the extra sanding disc on the drill and use the extra buffing compound to enhance lights. And then the funny thing is, is that for this, all the clear coats used up. I got a tiny little bit of this left. <laughs> so there might be a 3M and Sylvania hybrid taillight coming up on a certain Silverado that has WD-40 on one taillight. All in all, I would say either kit is perfectly good. For me, the Sylvania went better. I just wish I had like a practice shot with the clear coat. But, if you've got a drill, the 3M is an excellent choice as well. And they both did an amazing job. Both these headlights look almost brand new. One further thing with the Sylvania is that the clear coat's a little bit thicker and 
covers up some of the imperfections. That particular clear coat for the 3M isn't as thick and you can still see some of the deeper imperfections, like the rock chips and stuff. This is thick enough that it pretty much covered over the rock chips. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Feel free to like and subscribe. I'll check you next time. And I'm not sure which one made the bigger mess in the driveway, <laughs> but I kind of think the Sylvania might have made the bigger mess in the driveway than the 3M did. But I know the 3M was also going this way and running towards this, so maybe this was a mixture of the two. <laughs> but either way, if you wind up doing a set of headlight restoration, make sure you're in a spot that you can clean up later or that you don't mind if it's dirty.